Hi there. Um, just recently, I made a video of um, how easy it is to build a chair with uh, some jigs and templates that I built. And I'm going to do another video about building the chairs, except this time I'm going to make it from oak and also um, the side rails and probably the back and, and uh, front rails will, will be um, attached with um, uh, loose tenons. So the process is pretty similar, uh, except those parts. So just to begin, I, I'm gonna put this, my template on this oak board, trace the outlines, then cut the leg parts off, and we'll go from there. After cutting all these leg parts, I can start to choose which one's going to make the uh, pairs. So because they all came a little bit different compared to each other, like um, the thickness and, and the size overall, just a little variations there. So I, I choose the ones that are already looks like they're matching quite quite well, like this one, these two. These are already done. So then I just uh, I stack them together with clamps and pick my tool and after that it's just uh, some manual labor. Now we can start planning this um, back side of the legs but it proven to be a little bit problematic just because of the curve it doesn't um, the blade doesn't catch anything. Um, so what I did is I just move like sideways, which is like kind of breaking my heart because it's easy to get chips out of the edge. So I have to be very careful. So um, I plan a little bit from here just to get it even and I've, then I finish it off with a belt sander. And this is the, this kind of shape really requires a compass plane which I don't have, obviously. So I guess I just have to work with this one. I started marking more locations to these uh, front legs. So this this is the curved side that is uh, between the back back legs and the front legs, and they will be matched with these uh, mortises I already uh, routed yesterday for these t loose tenons, and they're going to sit here like so. I'm 
about to start routing these uh, mortises in these side rails and um, I numbered them so the back um, the back one is A, front is B and the sides are C and I also marked them on these uh, wood pieces so I remember which goes where and this one is C1 and the other one is C2 so this one is C1 I place it on top of my drawing and I have to first uh, cut this in an angle which is um, this angle in here and for this chair it is uh, 82 degrees and if you've if you watched my other chair making videos you know that I utilized my um, the jig I built but this time the angle is one one degree different so I had to make another one and to make that I took this angle from here and I cut a few pieces of MDF into that angle it should match here yep seems perfect and then I will simply attach it to this table and it uh, seems I have to move this a notch forward also but anyways um, after I cut this in an angle I clamp it in here which it allows me to use my router and this template to make a perfect mortise Now that I've routed this other end of the side rails, I can just place it on top of my drawing and then mark the cut length. Now I can uh, go ahead and cut it with the correct length in an angle so it fits perfectly in here and then route the other mortise on this end. As you can see, I, I just did a little bit of uh, test assembly here, just to see how well these parts are fitting together. And I didn't glue anything yet, as I still need to make the lower rail and crest rails and the figure between, which I'm going to copy the one I did before, as I still have that template. After I cut these parts, I'm going to do some routing. Um, and a little bit carving, making those um, oak leaves. If you remember my uh, oak dining table project in legs, I did that kind of carving also. Now I'm going to show you guys how I do the uh, oak leaf routing on these crest rails. So just like before, I copy the drawing with a piece of charcoal paper. What I do is I place it on top, just eyeball it quite in the middle. And then it's just quite simple. Trace. Trace the drawing. Yeah, let's see. There.
after sanding all these um, rather bit marks and also um, sand these leaves a little bit because last time when I did the table legs I kind of left them uh, looking pretty rough all the way from edges I, I just I did use a, a chisel or a gouge or something to do a little round over but after a while it kind of didn't look very nice anymore and I wanted it to have a little bit more curves just like a normal leaf, leaf wood and uh, I'm not sure how visible that is in the, through the camera lens but there's a little bit of rounding um, uh, more smoothness, smoothness in these and uh, if you remember what I did on my table legs is basically just go bananas with these kind of tools and I started denting the surface like so and later uh, it's gonna look pretty nice um, pattern in here but I will show you guys later how it's gonna look after I finish one To make these oak leaves look a little bit more natural and give some more life to them I decided to carve just a little bit of the surface to make some kind of small details I'm not gonna carve too much just just a notch so I'm doing this in the same kind of fashion I did with the uh, table legs I think on that video I went to a bit more detail so check it out if you if you're interested while well, I'm doing this I'm constantly changing the light source uh, location so it creates more shadows and I can see better how much I'm uh, carving off well, I think that's about it really don't want to do it too much For the backrest design, I'm using the template I cut earlier for the other chair. Uh, originally, I planned to use it with a router to cut the piece off, but um, obviously it didn't work quite well and I kind of destroyed the template. So I'm just, um, uh, I plan to trace these drawings on the piece of oak and then use a saw just to cut it off and well, I will show you later.
So now that I chiseled that part off, I can put this metal corner in here and screw it on here. And it's going to be very, very strong, strong support. Although I still need to change the angle of this because this one is 90 degrees and this one is not. This is always a very interesting part when we start putting things together. See, there's a lot of things going on at the same time. Everything in an angles, thing, so many things have to meet perfectly. Side rails with the front legs and also these stretchers. But I already done a test assembly before this, uh, before gluing anything. That should be just fine. So uh, let's get it started. Yesterday I got so excited about my work progress that I totally forgot to bring my camera and take it on film. But basically what I did is uh, lots of sanding all over on every surface on these chairs. And then I used a dark walnut color, a wood stain on these chairs. And after that I, I cut this kind of uh, piece of cardboard to kind of um, see how the seat part will match with the chair design. After that I trace it on a piece of pine cut the back side off uh, then place it on on top here and and trace the lines under the seat and cut it off I'm doing the final sanding here and especially these um, oak leaf carvings I'm going to sand more so I can bring out that lighter wood color and therefore it will create maybe a little bit more 3D look. To finish these chairs I'm using a furniture lacquer which I dyed with a drop of wood stain just to give a little bit more color and also the reason why I did that is I did use the same method with the table, so I'm trying to acquire exactly the same color. So the first layer is uh, going to be a little bit thicker. Then I sand it maybe with uh, around 40 grit paper and give another coat. And then I will see if it's uh, 
if I need to.